The first step is to understand your target audience. If you've got a little bit of traction already on YouTube, this is something you've likely already thought about. Who are you going after? But the mistake a lot of creators make is that they don't really understand this person's story. They're so focused on this person's demographics in terms of age and where they live in the world and median income. And they just think of like this general audience. So for you to know what your audience wants, you really need to know who this is. And not just on a general level, you need to know their story. And when we say their story, what we're saying is you need to know one, who is this person? Two, what do they want? Number three, why can't they have what they want? Number four, what's at stake if this person doesn't get what they want? Those things are very, very critical because ultimately this person wants to experience some sort of transformation in their life. They're at point A and they want to get to point B, but they don't know the path to get there. And that path could be an educational value, like something that they're like, hey, I wanna learn this, and if I learn this thing, then I'll get from point A to point B. Or it could be like an entertainment value, where these people, they're like, I'm bored and I need something to do, or I wanna feel like I'm hanging out with some friends, and that gets them to, to point B. Then you're gonna take that information, and you're going to craft a value proposition. What value do you propose to deliver to your target audience. And that needs to be super abundantly clear. Finish this sentence. Subscribe because a U S E. <laughs> Subscribe because what do you say? And a lot of times I'd be surprised how many creators, even with substantial audiences are like, subscribe because, and they usually say one of two things. They usually say because they, they state what they do on their channel. And they're like, subscribe because I do gaming videos or I make family videos or because we're gonna teach you how to do spreadsheets better or something like that. This is not very compelling because when I, when someone, the value is like based on what you teach, then it's like you and a thousand other channels on YouTube. What we recommend is not just saying what you do, but also why you do it. The what will get people intellectually kind of like engaged, but the why will get people to start feeling something about the brand and starting getting emotionally engaged. For us at Video Creators, we are targeting someone, we actually gave this person's story, we gave them a name. Their name is Busy Benny. And Busy Benny was working in corporate America and loved it because there was a lot of opportunity to grow and climb a ladder, but they got a boss that they just don't like and it's soul crushing for them now. They quit their corporate job and they're gonna go full-time teaching guitar lessons because that's where they feel the most excitement. That's where they feel the most alive. But in the course of doing that, they find out like, I can only do so many students. I'm exchanging uh, time for dollars and I no longer wanna do that anymore. And so he creates an online course. He's like, I can sell this course to lots of people, teach them how to play the guitar. Then he starts a YouTube channel and he learns that the more my YouTube channel grows, the more my business grows, the more courses I end up selling, and I can go from making a healthy income with selling music lessons in person to even scaling this even bigger with a business online and serving even more people better than I could before. That's who we're going after here. We know this person's story, what they want, what's at stake for them. This is their full-time gig. Their goal is to ultimately grow their business so they can serve more people better. And so our value proposition comes along. It's like, subscribe to this channel because we help business business owners, that's another one that could be, it could be the what, it could be the who. We help uh, small business owners grow a YouTube channel that reaches more people and changes their lives starting with their own life. Growing their own business so they, they can reach more people and spread a message that, that changes lives. And so when we teach audience development and YouTube tactics, it's with that person in mind so that when that person, Busy Benny, finds our channel, they hopefully feel like, <gasps> This is exactly what I've been looking for, where you've been my whole life. You have defined your target audience and you know the value you're trying to propose and what that does for them. You know the story and what they need from you. Then that allows you to finally craft a good content strategy that combines these two things together. Every video that I watch from this person feels like it's for me and the value is one that I want to consume and every single video is delivering that for me. So when you want to know like what does your audience want, you first need to know who's the audience, then you need to know which goes along with what they want, and then what, which is the value that you're providing. So this is the target audience, 
This is the value prop. When you've defined those two things and start making content that delivers those things every single time consistently, you end up attracting this audience because you're giving this audience what they want. And so instead of chasing your audience and trying to figure out, well, who do I have? Do I make this video for that person or this video for that other person? Because if you haven't defined this for them, then people make up in their mind this is why I'm here. One person might subscribe for reason A, someone for reason B, another for reason C, and another one for reason D. And if this person is here for A, they're like, yes, but then person B, C, and D is like, eh, 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 because it's not for them. You're like, oh, okay, well, that video didn't do so good, so uh, let me let me do this, because there's some people here who want this, so you do that, but then that one's an eh, you know, and it's really hard to get traction long-term on your channel if you're delivering this value sometimes, that value sometimes, this value this time to this person, that person, whatever. And before long, like your channel is one, gonna grow slowly, but it's also going to stall because there's not a through line, there's not a thread that ties everything together clearly for your target audience to know every time I get what I want. And the best way for you to be able to do that is not to just try to always figure out what your audience wants, it's for you to decide, I'm going after this person, I'm delivering this. And those people thereby by definition, end up being attracted to you, your brand and your content in your channel. And then ultimately, because you're busy Benny, to the thing that you're selling, which is ultimately going to give them what they want. They're getting, like you here, hopefully you're getting a little bit, which you need um, to, to have a framework now for how to think about giving your audience what you want. But you really dive into it with us. You know, we have online courses, we can do a one-on-one -on -one consultation where we can ultimately give you this, a path to doing what you want for your audience every single time and actually tracking the results and making it measurable so you can see the impact it has in your business. So this is really important, but there's also other things that other top creators are doing that we've seen as a pattern that they're doing to grow their channel and get more traction. If you wanna see what some of those things are, put together a video right here for you that you can click on and it's going to show you some of the top things that the creators are getting millions of views and subscribers what they're doing what they have in common to really grow their channels click right there and i'll see you in that next video